Hey, it's Andrew Huang. So Rob Scallon recently put out a video where he was making a song in an hour, and a lot of people said that I should try this challenge as well. I've done some time restraint challenges before, but nothing exactly like this. So I uh, want to do making a song in an hour, and then uh, you know I thought it would be funny. Let's just make this competitive. I'm going to make a song in 59 minutes. F*** you, Rob. So let's set up a timer. 59 minutes on the clock. Go. Just to make it abundantly clear that I'm not, you know, I haven't pre-planned a song that I'm just gonna record, I'm gonna go to a random number generator to get my BPM. So let's put in like a minimum of like 60, maximum of 160, 130, okay. Also, I thought I would get like chords or, or melody ideas from people on Twitter. Uh, recording a song really fast. What note should I use? And while we do that, let's start making a beat at 130 BPM. I'll start with a kick drum, nice and easy. 130 is such a classic pop song tempo that everything I'm making just, I don't know. I mean, it's just a kick drum, so it's it's not gonna be that exciting, but we'll, we'll see how this develops. I'll probably change that pattern up later. What have people tweeted at me? C, B, A sharp. D major nine, okay, that's an actual chord. Let's throw that in the roster. What's a D major nine sound like? Let's get a synth loaded up. All right, that's gonna be our first chord. I'm gonna see if anyone else said chords. Oh, this person gave me a progression. C, E minor, F, A minor. Uh, I think I'd rather take chords, like individual chords from a bunch of different people. So we're starting with D major nine. And then someone here has said E major seven. This will be interesting. So we're... Cool. I'm gonna stick with those two chords for now. Maybe we'll grab some more later, but D major nine and E major seven. I already can feel that this is gonna be some weird poppy junk, but maybe we can uh, mess with it. Okay. It's a really full sound. I think I want to filter this down a bit. Yeah, maybe some like filter automation stuff. Let's do bass to it. What time are we at, by the way? Oh, it hasn't even been 10 minutes. So far, so good. I don't even know if I'm in tune. I probably should have prepared and done that, but yeah, we got time to tune. Not even grabbing the right tuning peg. Wow. Think there's enough, enough good stuff in there. I feel like our beat needs some more, more to it, more than just a kick drum. shaker on here. Need to get my shaker. Okay. This is the shaker I've been using for a couple years. It's a uh, delicious quinoa. Healthy. I think it's a complete protein. Now, uh, now I just need to think for a bit about what to do next. Watch all of my time ticking away. So I'm stuck with this loop. I like it a lot, but I, I just don't know what to do next. Uh, I've just got I just got to decide on something. I'll take my own advice from my my video about creating new sections in songs. We'll change something about this, but keep something the same. We'll see what we end up with. Maybe we, maybe we should vary the chords at this point. So we're like going from here. I like going to that chord. I just gotta figure out where it goes after that. Okay, I gotta move on. I spent a few minutes on it, I like it enough. Let's roll with it. 36 minutes. 
What do I do now? Uh, I mean, this section is not complete. Probably need some more instruments. Let's play some guitar. I don't even know if it needs any guitar right now, but uh, I just don't have any ideas of what else to do right now. So let's try some stuff. My strap's a mess. Who cares? I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I, I'm just gonna add guitar because it's something to do. Hopefully it gets the ideas flowing. I have a nice little cute melody idea here, but I don't want it on guitar, so. Get rid of all of this, get out of here. Wow, things have really started to fall apart. I feel like I'm spending a lot of time on just like the details that I wanna get just right that I probably shouldn't. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it until there's really a time crunch. All right, I'm gonna go on Twitter again. I'm not gonna ask people for lyrics, but I'm gonna ask them what I should write about. Song coming along. What should I sing about? Tongue out emoji. So right now I have two sections to this song. Ideally, I would go back and forth between them. Maybe I have time to chuck in a bridge. I wanna get a vocal melody in there. I think that'll be the main thing to kind of glue this together. And we have 21 minutes left, 22 minutes left. Do you guys wanna just watch an episode of Friends right now? Wow, happily that is like in a good part of my range. Here's a here's a workaround for lyrics. This part I'm just gonna do as ooze. Let's record it. Ooh. Hey! Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Let's do um same thing, an octave up. Ooh. Should be good enough. Dump a bunch of reverb on that. Uh, I have 500 Twitter notifications. Someone wants me to write about something about science that I don't know about. Pink fluffy unicorns, maple syrup, how long the internet takes, the secret of how stars work. That's interesting. How stars work. Uh, Wikipedia stars. At least a portion of its life. A star shines due to thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen into helium in its core. You know what? I think I might just sing a Wikipedia article. 15 minutes. Just gotta get in the zone here. So I got this line that I like. I want to take you to the stars. I think it sounds similar to something I might have written before. We're just gonna play a little game of the first rhyme that I find. No matter who you are, I wanna... <laughs> Want to take you to the stars. Tra traveling so far. I love to go so far. Can't get there in a car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I said first rhyme I come up with. I guess I guess that's going in somehow. I have 11 minutes for this last little thing. I feel like I feel like I can come up with something better. Bar mar nar dar glar flar clar plar. When I'm with you, I feel on par. I'm just gonna, no, I know it may seem far. I'm gonna take you to the stars. Sorry, we're going for like ultra cheesy pop. No matter who you are, I wanna take you to the stars. I think we got enough there. Let's add a couple little fun dynamic changes, some fills, whatever I can do in six minutes and 46 seconds. A little impact sound for the start of our song. Okay, yeah, shaker comes in there. Okay, yeah, let's get a drum fill. Toms, toms, toms. Those ones, a little swing. Not happy with a snare clap situation, let's finesse that in our last four minutes. Gonna double the clap, two. Sounds totally fine. I mean, I have to be at like 90% because we got two minutes left. We don't have a bass in the B section. I just realized. Got a minute and a half left. Can I track this bass part? Uh, oh my gosh. It's gonna be so sad if this is just 
like if it just cuts out partway through a note. Okay, I hope I remember what the chord progression was. We got 26 seconds left. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here, cause we're done. Man, the adrenaline I got from just playing that bass with a time limit. Guys, we made a song. Three, two, one, confetti. Yeah! So that was a, a pretty major rush actually. It was super fun and exciting to just give myself this extreme time limit and like know that I only have one take for that final bass line. We recorded drums, bass, did some little synth noise accents, a little synth marimba, recorded the chords, a shaker, and my vocals in 59 minutes. Let's hear what it sounds like. No matter who you are, Wanna take you to the stars I know I may seem far Gonna take you to the stars Your move, Rob.